Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy Paysauer, aka Boost is my friend. Please go through and smash that like button, that subscribe button, that bell notification. Comment below. All right, start pulling these covers off. These bolts are super easy, so all you do is just break them all loose and then spin them off. On this, on this time, last time I had to pull my cam covers, you ain't got, or your valve blast covers, you ain't got to pull them off on this one. So I usually just pull stuff off and let it set like that. I also want to make sure for the transmission alignment, so when you split the case, that you go through and, and it's not in gear. See right there, it's in gear. So I want to bump it up, see now I can spin it. Now I have it in neutral. Now I can pull my rod off down here. I can pull my, my shifter on off. Now this ain't, a, this ain't a regular shifter, this is a shifter James bought offline on mini bikes. I think it was minibikes.com or something like that. They come with this little shifter, which shifts phenomenally better than what the stock one does. There you go, pull that off. So now I've gotten the oil drained. I'm gonna spin the motor over. I'm gonna pull my cam bolts out to go ahead and get it loose. I'm gonna pull my tensioner loose. I'm gonna pull the top right here so I can put all that back together when, when I go back together with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the top cover off so that way I can do the adjuster. Let me go ahead and get uh, me a pin here. I'll go ahead and spin, spin this off because when I go back together, set the time, and I have to go right inside that little hole right there. I have to go right down that little hole when there's a little, see a little line, stick a little flathead down there, and I adjust it. I adjust it back to pull the tension out of it. So now, let me go through and uh, I'm at 10. Oh, that pin ain't with the crap, it's wore out. So here we go. Here we go. And the bolt's out of the slack tensioner for the timing chain. You'll watch it, it'll start lifting itself up. Yeah, I just leave that loose. Now I'm going to spin the motor over. All right, so got the cam sprocket bolts loose. Throw that thing to the side. Put my chain back up in here. Now I'm going to go through and pull my bolts out of my head and my oil, my little oil line right here. So that pulled off. And I also got a, uh, a line underneath. Oh, it's a Phillips head. I forgot. I changed the line out to a, a regular bolt. So. Might have give me a. Had to get me a pull to get that out real quick. Hold on one second. All right, guys. Well, so I, I ended up getting that bolt out. The little, the little Phillips head here. So now I'm going to go through and. uh. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this oil line to get it out of my way so when I split the case, it'll be easier. So when I do the big bore stuff, I don't usually pull this line off from underneath. You have to make sure when you do it too, that you don't lose the washers. So like little, little copper washer, just kind of like uh, what's on your brake lined under the car. You gotta keep up with those. So now I gotta pull my head bolt. I got two bolts up in here and I got four right here, I gotta pull out, I can pull my jug off, my silver head and my jug, so let me get to that, I'll be right back with you. All right, well, getting these bolts out of it, spin that on. Like I said, you got another brass washer right here on that top cylinder bolt, the one closest to the oil, has another crushed washer on the head bolt, I guess to keep it, it probably has the oil passage to seal it off. The rest of them don't have no washers or nothing on it. So now we're gonna go through and uh, got all that. So now I need my 10 millimeter. I come right here to the side. If you can see, well, that's you your you bolt to go through your case right here. You got two of them. These motors are super simple. You don't have to be a certified mechanic or no rocket scientist or have a bachelor's degree or no. Uh, MBA or whatever. You don't have to have no 
no special degrees to do work on these things. They're, all you gotta do is just not be scared. And when you take it apart, remember how it goes back together. So there we go. Both bolts are loose on there. Here's my bolts, set them right here with my rest of my bolt bin. Pull the jug off of it. How the head's still sealed on this one, so. Yeah. right here pulled off the dowels and there you go that's what our that's what a race motor looks like james crawley's race bike everybody knows he got some cheated up stuff look at that look at him darned on the pistol where he runs that race fuel thing we broke our base plate gasket hopefully i have one if not it'll be a little bit more compression I'll be uh, putting it back together with that one if, if it don't have one. Here's your guide. Keep up your guide. Pull your other, your other guide. It bolts in from the side. So, so I got this out. Keep up with your tensioner. Keep all that stuff together. Stick your rubber to the side. Out of your way. Boom. We in here. So now we're here. We're going to pull our side bolts off our cover. So let me stop you real quick so I don't run out of time, guys. Well. I got all my bolts out of my cover here. You gotta pull it, it's gonna be, it's gonna wanna pull back in because it's magnetic because you have your pickup in behind here. So I'm gonna leave all my bolts in this cover and just leave it, lay it out since I, I got room on my table over here. So there you go. Now we're down to the flywheel side of things. So I'm gonna hit that with an air gun, knock that bolt off. James bought this tool right here so we could pull it because I didn't, uh, I don't. Ha I didn't have the tool for it. I, I usually just pry on it and beat on it and pull it. But now we got a nice little tool here to pull that flywheel off. So let me get that pulled loose. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my clip off my rod since we're changing the rod out anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the clip out and pull my piston out of it. So back right, well, with I got you. the cover. I got the bolts out of the cover. So now we're gonna pull this up a little bit. All right. Now we got all that pulled pulled out my way. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna just lay it over here to the side too. Okay, a couple key points. This little bearing here, doesn't the clutch cover, you gotta keep up with it. And I'll show you, show you why, because even, even when you install the high, like a high performance clutch, they sell for heavier duty clutches. This thing right here can get flipped. So this is the lip side. The thicker side goes in to push. Cause if you if you turn around and take this cover off and this thing comes up against it, you put it in backwards, your clutch won't release. Basically this right here, there's a rod that pushes against this. See this right here, see this basket right here for it? See the bearing? The basket goes in there and then the bearing goes in behind of it. Cause if you go through and you put this on backwards and you come from the back side, then all it'll do, it'll push that bearing out and your clutch won't work. So keep up with that bearing there. That bearing is what allows me, pulling that bearing loose allows me to access the bolts here so I can pull the uh, piece out of it, which I don't even have to pull. I don't even have to pull the clutch basket. I need to pull the 17 right here off of this. I'm pretty sure it's a 17. No, nope, it's bigger than, what? Yeah, it's bigger than 17. I think it's three quarters in. Let me look. It's 18, 19. Yeah, three quarters, so you gotta hit that to pull your clutch primary off of it. So let me knock that loose All right, quick. so I pulled my primary off, my, pulled it loose, and so now my crank's loose right here on that side. So it should be all we need to take out of this. Now my transmission will just completely spin free. So, pulled it loose. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the clip out of my piston. Pull, pull the piston out of it, pull the piston off of it. And once I get it pulled off, and I'll flip it over, and I'll pull the flywheel off the other side. Start taking the case right. piston side of it, so now I'm gonna flip it over. Pull the bolt out of my clutch. That's how I start pulling the clutch, the, uh, how the clutch, I pull, I don't got the clutch side, I'm sorry, I'm flabbergasted. I'm gonna pull my flywheel side off real quick. Bolt out of my flywheel, I'm gonna go in here and take these Allen heads out. This attaches it to the starter piece in the back, the one-way clutch for the starter. See so if you notice it'll spin one way, and the other way it pulls. 
So I'm gonna pull them bolts out and that way I pull the, pull the uh, firewall off of it. All right guys, well, as you can tell, the bolts are out of here. See, so you can see it now. See, it's been both directions now. Pull the bolts out up for the cover. So let me get you set up here. So now we're gonna take this little puller tool, screw it out. Going out with it some more. Pretty nice little tool. Let me see if it's backwards threaded or not. Not standard threads. So from here, we get it screwed out all the way. All right. So now we're gonna screw that up on there like that. We'll screw this up in here. This tool's gonna be nice. I can already tell you that. Stick my screwdriver in it. A pair of channel lights. Need me a adjustable wrench. That's which one. Turn it. Hmm. A little tight than I thought it was. Ah. There it came. That's a pain in the butt. Look at that. Now I'll screw my pull it off. It was a little tighter than I thought it was. And I remember mine being a pain in the butt when I pulled it loose, but there it is. Pull that off, set it over here. Now get your, uh, your gear off for your starter. I've done pulled that one off. It goes on here. And the line goes outwards. No, no, the line goes inwards. It's right there, all on the ring right there. It goes inwards. We'll stick it on there like that, so. Come on. Pull my half moon. My key weight. Pull the one-way spray, the clutch, one-way spray, one-way clutch out of the about transmissions. So now I'm gonna take me a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna come over here, sideways. I'm gonna pull my common chain rail out of it. Leave my bolt, leave my bolt with it with the pin going inwards. Just say the spacer goes to the inside. Set it over there. Now I gotta pull these Phillips heads right here loose so I can go through and uh these are guide rails. I'm gonna pull them loose real quick so I can get the chain off of it. So I'm gonna spin it up like this. Take me a hammer, whack my screwdriver with my hammer. Get it loose, so I'll be right. But let me go ahead and pull this off too while I'm here. Show y'all. Grab a hold of this little piece here. Pull that out. That goes on your transmission on your output shaft. It has a bevel that goes inside because there is an O-ring up in there that seals on the inside of that. If you don't have that, you will have a leak. So let me go get me some tools, some bigger screwdrivers. I'll be right back. All right, well, I got this one loose. Show y'all a trick. Anytime you mess with aluminum and bolts and stuff like that, Phillips head style bolts. Take your hammer, come in here, get a couple wax, take the adjustable wrench, put on it, hold in on it. There it is. Boom. Now I got my timing chain guard pulled loose. Put my timing chain off of it. Boom, we got it out. Set all this over here together. My dad hired somebody to put this back together. We're lost. So now I'm going to go through and pull all these case bolts loose. And then I can get the crank out of it. I'll show you how to get it. So let me go ahead and go in here and pull all my Phillips head loose and split the case. Got everything tore down. Pulled the starter off. But there's a pry notch right here if you look. You can pry this thing apart. But it takes some effort because these bearings are pushed into here. They're, they're, it takes some force to get it out. So basically I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to pry. I'm going to take a hammer and I'm going to hit it and keep knocking that out of the case.